It is a matter of great joy for me to be present here in the first ever Unique River Festival, Nadi, which has been explained by the lady who, uh, who has welcomed us. Nadi 2016, wherein representatives from India, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Bhutan, and Nepal are meeting under a single roof to share ideas and views of common interest. An efficient transport sector is vital for development of the economy of any country. In a large country like India, efficient transportation is also pivotal to stimulate competitive business environment. Aware of this, the Government of India during recent times has emphasized that developing the inland water transport sector is a priority. <clears throat> Accordingly, the National Waterways Act 2016 has come into force under the Act. There are 111 national waterways listed so far. <clears throat> Northeast India has many big and small rivers providing facilities for water transport. From the ancient period until roads were constructed, the, the Brahmaputra and Barak rivers were commonly used as the medium of transport. In fact, in Mizoram also, we have quite a few big and small rivers. And before independence of this country, when there was no infrastructure, our contact with neighboring states are through riverways. During the British India time, these rivers were extensively used for trade and transport between Northeast India and the outside world. In fact, pre-independence period, the Mizos, the Mizos contact with the other parts of the country is through the south uh, by means of rivers. And our main contact centers were Chittagong and Rangamati. It is ironical that post-independence, they have lost their relevance in spite of the huge economic potential. Investing in Sound, <coughs> Sound River Basin management will drive economic growth, social and political stability. One of the biggest constraints has been funding. It is therefore necessary to find the necessary resource bought from the government and via the PPP mode. Here, let me re reiterate the importance of reviving and giving a few impetus to the Northeast Industrial and Investment Promotion Policy, NEIIPP 2007, to make up for the missed opportunities. Our expectations are high as the central government has spelled out many development schemes for the Northeast. Now, we want to see if the central development trust is backed by sufficient budgetary location and implemented on ground. We'll be, we will be only too happy if the center restores NEIIPP 2007. So far, India's Indian waterways make up for only 3.5% of the total transport in the country, whereas in China it is more than 40%. We have to develop the huge river transport potential, especially of the Northeast region which shares a long international boundary. <clears throat> For Mizoram, we are sandwiched by two friendly countries, Bangladesh and Myanmar, and river transport used to be the only medium of communication between our people, now divided by man-made boundary, most of whom belong to the same ethnic groups. Realizing the importance of our state rivers, government of Mizoram has notified all navigable rivers as reserve forests as far back as 1956 to protect the basin and surrounding watershed to ensure their long time health. Half a mile or 800 meters on both sides of the rivers are protected. Other than the economic dividend, the opportunity caused, uh, that comes uh, fostering <coughs> And that comes for fostering old cultural ties with our neighbors is immense. This will further strengthen 
bilateral ties through cooperation in various sectors. Tripura has made a good beginning in this regard. As stakeholders, all, we are very much for the development of river transport to connect with our neighboring countries, namely Bangladesh and Myanmar and even beyond. At the moment, we are working on Kaladan Multimodal Transport Project, which will connect us with Shitwe in Myanmar. And through this, we hope that the entire northeastern region and perhaps the other hinterland also will make use of this for trade and, com for gateway of, for trade and commerce with ASEAN countries. The constru road construction is, uh, work is on, and even on the other side of the border in Myanmar, they have been working on this, we have been told. My compliments to the organizers for coming out with this idea, which somehow had not been given its due importance. I feel we have the Inland Water Way, uh, Waterways Authority of India, IWAI, which is responsible for development and regulation of inland waters for shipping and navigation. They have to work harder with the necessary financial support for the development of this important sector. <coughs> my, special, my special thanks to Mr. B.B. Dutto, a former member of parliament and an old colleague, and C.P.P. Srivastav, an old friend of mine, founder of Asian Conference, for inviting me to attend NADI 2016 and share my views. Thank you, Mr. Dutto and Mr. Srivastav. As a bus country, this is a welcome opportunity for the Northeastern region to further our ties with our immediate neighbors, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Myanmar, and Nepal. Tourism, cultural, and educational exchange programs can be a good beginning. Towards this end, the government, the government's civil societies, NGOs, and investors as stakeholders all need to come forward on common platform, such as the one we have today. I once again thank the organizers and with the Asian Conference, uh, grand success. Thank you all.